the black is already we already got comments. Five, we already got already comments. Got five comments. As we come on live. <laughs> thank already you. You said Anna Black's already coming. Anna Black, yeah. Bianca Die. Can't wait. Hello. Beyonce, says, what? Bianca. <laughs> oh. Bianca Die. Okay. Uh, Shannon Hambly, Anna. Oh, we already said Anna Black. Thanks. Thank you. We're glad that yeah, you're Yeah, you guys are ready to ready they, to go for this they one. They really want to learn about rashes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As if you can yeah. learn about rashes in a yeah, it's tough because uh, twenty to thirty minute program about with without topics, yeah. full medical examples and yeah. pictures. Pictures are really what you need. Which for good pictures, <laughs> you should go to the Dr. Green Knight blog. So, so I started a two we'll talk about a two um, a two part blog, and uh, yeah, well for uh, um, stock photography, <laughs> it's the best I could do. Uh, so we will be talking about the pictures. Yeah, but you have to go to the blog to see the pictures because we don't have a license to put those still photographs on video. Yeah. But you can look at them at the blog. Yep, check it out. And there's a link in the description already going to your blog. Although not specifically check to this out. post. They'll have to find Navigate the most recent through. post to find it's pretty easy if you go rashes. To the... Yeah. So what inspired you to talk so, about rashes yeah. to our audience? Fantastic rashes and we're going to find Your them. audience and our audience. So. Uh, it was just one of those things. So um, I have this kind of ongoing series on common diagnoses kind of called Diagnosis Spotlight. And I just have this list of like the top maybe 20 diagnoses we see here um, as primary care doctors. And, okay. and some of those are rashes. Actually, a lot of them are rashes. So I said, oh, let's just do a brief, uh, you know, brief compilation of how to you know, kind of differentiate certain types of rashes. And you did select an assortment that it, they're very different from each other. I, I think they're they very are. different Oh, absolutely. Other. Yeah, those Compared ones Compared to are. a lot of stuff we see in the Which office. Which all looks the same. <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> you look do. at it and you go, that could be anything. <laughs> yeah. So so next week I have four more coming, which okay. uh, some of those do Good. look similar to... Uh, other things we see. Okay. So, are, are, is our audience all... talking? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's yeah. They're not calling in on Skype, though, which the Skype ID there? is in the description of the video um, if you're watching live. Yeah. Bots and me stream says, hey, thanks. He wants to learn, he, she wants to learn about rashes. Okay. Uh, Catherine Miles says, hi, guys, from Australia. All right. And McNug says, hey. Okay. Ronald Abel, what's happening? So, how are we going to do this without actually showing that? <laughs> I don't. Have, I don't have any rashes. I don't have any. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Let me do a I little survey. Rash I took a shower this morning. Got this. <laughs> You're doing your own. That's what you said. Skin you said in your Say in the shower, you find this rash. Because that's when you're looking at your skin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> when you're washing. Yeah. All right. Say what you want. Okay. Talk, talking. <laughs> talking about being aware of one's bodily functions, and and body. Where are you going with this? <laughs> Sometimes patients are very offended when I ask them what something about their medical condition looked like. They make it clear, well, I didn't look. Yeah. Yeah, which is kind of weird. Okay, that's fine. That, that's okay that you didn't look, but... I got this pain. Sometimes it's helpful well, if you do look at what is the product of a problem with your body. It, that way you can describe it to us. Oh, somebody uh, uh, mentioned these metal pendants that we're wearing. Oh, and they noticed oh them. really? Bianca did. Oh, oh, oh really? The, this oh, little thing? This, that's nothing. <laughs> the A stands for awesome. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell it's an A? It is an A. This Look year it's an A. Next year it'll be a... Can you see it? Are huh? we in focus if I go up and you can actually see the... Uh... Are you going to mess up the autofocus? It'll, it'll probably adjust to it. The twin, I can't get up that close. They, they can oh, so they close. can read the... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. So you can Just see don't the, hit the microphone. I won't hit the microphone. Okay. So, and, and uh, as always, uh, you're welcome to call uh, in. Can you see that? It's not focusing that close. Uh, pull back pull a little. Pull it back. Pull it back. Uh, pull it there. back. There. Right. It should... Right. right. You know what? I think it's not going right. to be. I'm no, sorry. I'm still in focus. Sorry. But sorry. what it says is the uh, 2019 sorry. Auburn Resolution Run, which... Was a run that we both did. That's we how we show got them these. A video if you want. There's a video? That's right. We did record a video. Okay. I, I was there. <laughs> Before we start with talking about rashes, which sometimes can occur after having done a 10-mile run. If you're not using the, the proper canyon. equipment, yes. Proper equipment. So we're, <laughs> we're going to... Sunscreen? We're going to show you <laughs> the video. Let's see here. Can I make this video? There you have it. After. <laughs> yeah, that's the 10 after. miles. Yeah, 10 miles. Now. We both did it. He beat me. 
Thanks for joining us at the uh, 2019 resolution run where Dr. Gwaine and myself are going to do the 10 mile. 10 and miles. this is what we look like before. <laughs> the, 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 the before. Yeah, my thing's flying up. I'm always playing with the thing in my ear when we're doing even, this. Even when we're not in the studio. <laughs> even when we're not in the studio, I'm still listening for my mom to call. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, let's see what we look like after. Let's see. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we, there you go. There you have it. After. <laughs> yeah, that's the Ten after. miles. Ten miles. We both did it. He beat me. Can we start the beginning? Let's see. Okay. Now that's the second part. Okay. Yeah. So All right. that's. Well, there it is. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was me after 10 miles. Ten, I so even so here, those here's coffins. the thing. It's not even really, I mean, pe people say 10 miles, and, and, a, and a, like a long distance runner is like, eh, 10 miles, you know, that's not that long. But this is, this is 10 miles. Okay, this, this particular well, 10 I miles. Describe, describe this 10 miles. How far down do we go to the river? We go down pretty a ways. We're, we're down there. So, so we live in Auburn, which is on the side of the canyon of the American River. And um, it is a... Is it 700 feet from... I think it's probably about that. And we go down most of that. We go down a ways. Yeah. And then, so, so the first mile is essentially going down. You kind of run around there. And you go all the way out to this area, other area. And then the last mile is recovering or coming back up the well, however also, many Cardiac feet. bypass, we're going up that, Oh, too. man, that is quite the... They call it cardiac. Let's just say that. How's That's that? That's the name of the yeah. trail. So it's... <laughs> After getting done with this 10 mile run, this particular route of 10 miles, I tell Dr. Gwaine, I would be glad, <laughs> only so glad, immediately after finishing this run, I would be so glad to sometime soon do a half marathon on level ground, like in the city. It would be way easier Please. than this 10 mile run. I would be run. glad to. Oh my, man. Yeah, even though it's longer, it would be much easier because... Yeah. So I did it have one is. blister that came off. Oh. What else did I have? Funny. Did I show you something I had or? Uh, no. <laughs> there was there was something besides the blister, but it was gone by no, the next day. Didn't show I was fine. Anything. Well, I'm or now recovered. I got to go hips. for a run tonight because I'm back to yeah. finally recovered. The next day, sure. yeah, I, I was pretty sore. Actually, it's the day not, after. Not it's not terrible. the next day, but the day after, like two days after. Oh, really? For, all, for like me, it was next day. I could kind of feel it in my hips, but it was it wasn't that much. Yeah, lots of going up. So that, that's Anyways, pretty cool. It wasn't so that that's much, that's so. a, that's why we're wearing these cool uh, medals. And the A because stands we for Auburn. They're actually going to spell out Auburn over the next five, five years. Five. It'd be a five years now. B yeah. Five. Yes. <laughs> so so it's thanks for the people that didn't get the first A because they're just, just going to say you burn. <laughs> <laughs> or the people who don't get the A and the U. It just says burn. Just burn. <laughs> Which There's is what your legs use. feel like. There's two U's. There's two U's. But they have different colored um, ribbons. Oh, yeah. For them. So we started out with green. Well, maybe no. we should get back to rations. I'm sorry. I, but if you want to call, the link, the, the, the Skype ID is in the description for voice calls. And I'm, I'm listening from yep. here. Okay. All right. Sorry. We uh, missed some I'm things listen. here. Okay. Yeah. You need to. A is for Abel, says Ronald Abel. Oh, are you <laughs> Tanya says, hey, from Iowa. Brio says, hi, sweethearts. Thanks, Brio. Very good. Uh, Bianca has urticaria. Oh, she's trying to get us back to the uh, okay. rashes. Okay, yeah, we're we gonna, probably should do we're that. We're coming we'll to rashes it. now. This we'll is what that. you paid for. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so then people commenting on they wouldn't be able to run 10 miles. It takes a while to build up that far, but but you can do it. Couch to 5K. Couch to 5K. It's an app that will actually get you from In the six couch. weeks, it'll have you doing a 5K yeah. run. Yeah. Yeah. And 5K is a good way to do it. It's a very gradual. Very slow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alternate that's the way to walking do it. with running. Uh, your temptation is to. Oh, I, I can just go. Yeah, yeah. I, I keep dropping. You keep oh, dropping I stuff. You, you go ahead and take over with rashes. <laughs> like. With rashes. Yeah, but any couch 5K, if you want to try to. That's how, how we started out. We started out really slow. I mean, we were only running like. What, less than a mile when we yeah. started out? Yeah. And then slowly worked our way up. Yeah. And now we're doing 10 milers. Well, you, or maybe a half marathon this you year. You did a marathon, mind. right? I have done a marathon. Yeah, He's one. done a marathon. That's probably it. And I'm I'm ready. I'm I'm saying it. For a marathon? Show, no, not marathon. Oh. <laughs> half marathon. I'm ready for a yeah, half marathon. Yeah, we could do it. Hey, on flat ground, you could totally do it. I don't know if I want to do a marathon. I don't even know if I want to. I did one. Bucket list. But Check. I do want to do a half marathon. Yeah. it's They're fun. I'll do one with you. If You got to do a big one with lots of people. Anyways, back to rashes. 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 So, so uh, yeah, check out the blog. Don't um, be rash. Uh, don't be rash about rashes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I almost titled the blog, Fantastic Rashes and Where to Find Them. Oh, that would have been awesome. 
Would that have been cool? So we'd get all those <laughs> visitors like we did when we <laughs> titled the video Breaking Bad News. <laughs> That's right, the Breaking Bad News. Fantastic rashes and where to yeah. find them. Well, well, there were only four, so should we cover those four? Okay. Um, and where to find them. And where to find I keep them. I guess that's phone. location. You're, yeah, you got a, something going on over there. I need a phone holder over here. Um, that's what I need. Yeah. What so, I, so maybe I'll put in my top phone. rash. What do you, what do you, what would you say is the most common rash you see? Most common rash I see? Yeah. What would be the most common rash I see? Just, is uh, it one of those four that were on there? Well, okay. What are the, okay. Shingles is pretty common. Um, Sunburn, is that a rash? Yeah. Contact dermatitis is one of the most common. That's pretty common. Yeah. So that's actually coming next week. Drug rash. Drug rash. That's actually coming next week. You're, you're giving away all my other ones. So, so the four we covered this week were atopic dermatitis or eczema, okay. as, it, as it's uh, more commonly known, um, shingles, um, psoriasis, and rosacea. Okay. Those are the four. So, so. I saw two of your pictures. Yeah. I saw the psoriasis. The psoriasis? It was on the elbows, right? On the elbow, yeah. Oh, it looked like it was anterior. No, no. It, was, it looked like it was in the crease. Oh, it's just I, because of the way I And so the, the first thing I thought was scabies. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. Which is not one so of our common. Is, no, it's not, not very not common, common at all. But I mean, psoriasis that, but. Is, is found on the extensor surfaces or the elbow, not, not on not the flexor. The inside, the extensor surfaces and the knees, lower back, scalp often. Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of this white, scaly rash um, with a yeah. red base. Um, when it's really bad, it can actually um, be accompanied by arthritis. You can get psoriatic arthritis. Psoriatic. I love that. Uh, and when psoriatic. It's psoriatic, yeah. It sounds pretty neat. It's psoriatic. But that, that, that needs to be treated usually by a rheumatologist. You know, when they it's that do, bad? They, they treat with um, some of those autoimmune um, medications, the Disease modulating anti-rheumatologic anti drugs. Yeah, like DMARD. Embril and Humira. I'm sure you've probably heard of some of those. Or seen ads on TV with Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Yeah, the people always covering up their, their yeah. psoriasis. Yeah. <laughs> TV commercial. Yep. That's psoriasis. what we're talking about. Psoriasis. Psoriasis. Spelled with a P, of course. Yeah, the P is silent. Why wouldn't you? Depends on what you're peeing on, I guess. <laughs> the P is silent. Oh, uh, why can't you hear, hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. Because the P is silent. silent. All right, anyways. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's see. So that was one of them. Yeah, that was one psoriasis. of them. So eczema. Eczema is very common, and it, and we probably don't see it that much because most people just self-diagnose and self-treat. Wait, maybe it was the eczema I thought was the eczema. When I first thought that was the one that was the back of the legs. Oh, maybe so, that's, so that one's on I'm the sorry. other surfaces. That's that might on, be the one I thought on was the um, yeah yeah because it's had like the little pinpoint things. Okay. That's probably the one that you thought. So um, and uh, atopic dermatitis or eczema is also known or was told to me as the rash or the itch that rashes. So usually. Um, it's not a rash that itches, That's but it's like, yeah, it's skin that you itch and then that causes the rash. So it's like you an only itchy. You get golden bombs like that here. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> itch that rashes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's often found on the, uh, flexor surfaces, um, in the crooks of the elbow, behind the, yeah. um, legs. Uh, common in kids. Goes um, with. Little, little. Goes well with. Yeah. The triad. The three. Yeah. There's another big word for you. The triad. triad. Not, not really that big of a word. It's not that big <laughs> of a word. It's only two syllables. <laughs> but, but atomic dermatitis or eczema can also usually seen in people who also have allergies and asthma. Um, that is called the atopic triad. Um, you often see those together. So that is a, that a is brief exactly overview right. of eczema. Um, rosacea. Now the rosacea picture. If you have Dr. Green Knight dot com on your computer <laughs> look at the rosacea picture yep because it's a face with this black going across the eyes yeah both of them that's not the rash across. the black part's not the rash yeah well i <laughs> i thought it was a contact dermatitis from the tape the person was wearing the, the red tape the black tape yeah over their eyes yeah <laughs> you don't watch those movies where all the people have their eyes blacked out bird box would you say bird box? Yeah. Oh, okay. That would make sense. Yeah. I, I saw that. I actually didn't watch it. Anyway. Well, it's so Netflix, so you wouldn't. Yeah. I don't. I have Netflix. Okay. You, you do? Um, <coughs> I don't. Oh, I didn't think so. Yeah. 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 Still my in-law sometimes. Oh. Uh, anyways. <laughs> um, let's see. People are making comments here. Oh, we have one more rash, and then we can maybe go through comments. The okay. last rash was shingles. That's the cool one. Not to have. No. 
but it's a lot more cool than the other it's, rashes. Um, like when you walk in the door and there's you a, can diagnose a good it from, shingles, you from go, across the room. Oh, that's yeah, the that's kind a good of nice shingles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a satisfying rash because you know exactly what to do, exactly what to, you know, you can treat it. And, and um, if you're it's within, very confident that that is what it is. With, if it's within 72 hours, you yeah. can help it. Yes, you can. You, and, you can um, help with the pain if it's not. Yeah, with urontin, gabapentin type medication. Or urontin. So, so those are the four. Um, and yeah, uh, those, and there's four more to come. You, you mentioned some, but there's four more to come next yeah. week. So, uh, let's see here. Somebody had urticaria once. Oh, that's not fun. Which is, yeah, that's like a similar to allergy. allergy. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. PCP says my rash is due to my autoimmune stuff. Bummer. Yeah. Autoimmune. A lot of rashes, not a lot of rashes, a lot of autoimmune diseases can come with rashes. That's what well, you Strangely said that enough. when we were talking about goes psoriasis. Well with. Yeah. Psoriasis is, is, is a common one from yeah. that. But there are also the ones like scleroderma, which is a tightening of the skin yeah. um, and some other things. Um, let's see. Uh, so much from Barbados. All right. Excellent. Oh, what kind of rash do you have down there? Let's see. Bianca says, <laughs> I've never had chicken pox, measles, or any childhood diseases. Now you probably were exposed to chicken pox. Um, Depends most, on how old she is. Yeah, she I guess was. that that does depend on your age. Um, so the um, most people were exposed to chicken pox until they started vaccinating against it, yeah. and we just don't see it as much anymore. And people have chicken pox, or yeah, they will have the virus, but not necessarily show clinically signs of it. So if you're around people, like anybody that grew up in the environment we did, pretty much had yeah. chicken pox at some point. Yeah, brothers uh, and your if, mom tells yeah, you to go they, give them a hug. Yeah, yeah. really. <laughs> even if they didn't have uh, a clinically evident yeah, course of it. still exposed. Uh, to if it. you're around people, chances are you did t- yeah. to the point that we actually give the vaccine for shingles. Right, to everyone. To, to everybody that yeah. Yeah, that's of age. Uh, somebody's saying they have lupus and have the butterfly rash and rosacea. So, rash. so yeah, the butterfly rash is of, of lupus is right over the um, cheeks and the nose. It um, spares the nasolabial fold, which he's too young right. to have. If I can make one, maybe. <laughs> there it is. I see it now. When I smile. Yep. Uh, um, <laughs> Old people have them even when they're frowning. <laughs> even when they're even there's when they're frowning. lines on their face. Um, Do I have Yeah, one? butterfly rash can be mistaken for rosacea and, and vice versa. Do um, I have a mustache? Yeah. So obviously the butterfly rash, you treat the underlying disease, the lupus. Yeah. For rosacea, you treat the, the, the changes in the skin, which um, is done a few different ways. Some, it, it depends on the type of rosacea. Some rosaceas respond well to antibiotics, either by mouth or topically. Mm-hmm. Uh, some respond to other medications if you have kind of that dilation of the vessels, just to help with, the, with the, the vessel dilation. If it goes a long time and goes unchecked, you can actually get a condition called rhinophyma. Yeah. Um, who's that famous uh, actor that had right uh, rhinophyma? Not Rodney Dangerfield. No. Uh, yeah. He was in movies with Mae West. Yeah. Sorry. Anyways, rhinophyma is when you see people with a big bulbous nose. That Jimmy Durante? Been, I have no idea who that is. I don't think that's who I'm thinking of. He had a big <laughs> nose too, but I think I'm thinking of somebody else. Um, Bianca asked for a complete workup. Oh, they're, they're talking to each other here. Oh, hey, oh, 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 no, oh. autoimmune disease. We're still trying to Our, find what I have. I we're have vitiligo. Community. Oh, vitiligo. There's another one that can be related with two autoimmune. Michael Jackson autoimmune disease. disease. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, coconut oil is really good. It helps my dog's allergies. Yeah. Yeah. Coconut oil, any of those um, calming balms can help a lot with the, the atopic dermatitis. Short showers because actually staying. Um, in, in water for longer. You have to it, bend real low so that you can get Which under the, for me isn't a problem because uh, every shower is a short me, shower. Hit me in the him. chest anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I would stay at a hotel that you could have. I could have, it could have cleared Well, not my while head. I was in it, but that would have been awkward. <laughs> Actually, it reminds me of a picture. Never mind. I think you were four. You know uh, what I'm thinking of. What? The bathtub no, picture. Yeah, yeah. And you guys were. But I was a kid. I was a child. Anyways. The picture exists somewhere, though. It's somewhere. There's Somebody could get in trouble. <laughs> it uh, was my bathtub. What were you doing in my bathtub? You must have been well, where is this the night going? <laughs> Never mind. Checking for rashes. Forget the delete. <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah, those last uh, 30 seconds there. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's uh, rashes. Okay. 
At least four so, of them. There, there's four more rashes. to come. Four rashes. More to come. We thank you for joining us at the Auburn Medical Group and for subscribing to the Dr. Green yeah. Knight blog at drgreenknight.com. Check it out. Subscribe. Yeah. One email a week. Uh, you'll be pretty much ready for our conversations here. And it's a, it's a good yeah, read. Do your if homework I might first. say so myself. Okay. Thanks for joining us. And, you know. Oh, wait. We got to thank people. Yes. I, thank yeah. you for remembering. Yeah. Because uh, we do have people from Patreon that... Uh, help make our, our blog and the Auburn Medical Group channel yeah, thank possible. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, Boo Boo Kitty, thank yes. you for all you do. And Lindsay Antwine, thank you. Yep. All and right, the now, rest of you also. Now you can do your sign off. You're out. Hey. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Dr. Gwen Vaughn. Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health. Thank you.